In 2017, Hubble took an image of distant galaxies. Thousands of galaxies appeared all across the view. The image fits in a piece of sky approximately the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length. In 2022, Webb examined the same piece of sky, releasing its first deep field image. The detail and clarity improvements are striking. A very bright star is just above the left of center. It has eight bright blue long diffraction spikes. Between 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock in its spikes are several very bright galaxies. A group of three are in the middle, and two are closer to 4 o'clock. These galaxies are part of the galaxy cluster SMACS 0723. The light we see left the cluster 4.6 billion years ago. You can see that this cluster is warping the appearance of galaxies seen behind them in a process known as gravitational lensing. Here we see Webb's analysis of a few of these galaxies. The oldest galaxy in the picture dates back to 13.1 billion years ago, making it just 700 million years younger than the universe itself. A few have ages ranging from 13 billion to 11.3 billion years. These age estimates come from careful measurement of the redshift for hydrogen and oxygen detected by Webb's instruments. During all the time that light was traveling, the universe was expanding. Light is attached to the space it passes through, so its wavelength is stretched as the space expands shifting it into the infrared spectrum. The further the shift, the further away the object is. Here we see two similar looking lensed galaxies between the bright star 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock spikes. Their bright central regions are similar, despite their stretched appearances. The question was, are they two images of the same galaxy or different galaxies? Webb's spectrometer shows how ionized oxygen and atomic hydrogen emission lines are distributed along each arc. The graphs match, indicating that the arcs are mirror images of the same gravitationally lensed galaxy. Here we're back with the original deep field image. Note how it shows a variety of colors and highlights where the dust is a major ingredient for star formation, and ultimately life itself. Blue galaxies contain stars, but very little dust. The red objects in this field are enshrouded in the thick layer of dust. Green galaxies are populated with hydrocarbons and other chemical compounds. Focusing on the oldest galaxy, the one 13.1 billion light years away, Webb was able to determine its chemical composition, its temperature, and the density of its ionized gas. This first James Webb Space Telescope release was an amazing start after such a long wait. I congratulate the entire Webb team and look forward to the coming discoveries.